So I'd like to give a big round of applause, a warm, welcoming round of applause for Sufi Sage. Awesome. Cool. Thank you very much for that. Hey. Thanks for the plug. <laughs> so um, my uh, stage name is Sufi Sage um, because um, I think it's quite cool and that's why I've done it. So today I've got a couple of poems for you. <laughs> that's the introduction done. So here's, um, <coughs> I, was, I was thinking of the concept of, of having a voice and it's something which is quite empowering. Um, and I give you a voice. A voice by its nature yearns to be heard, forget if others have not yet concurred. Awaken to reality of life so pure that those asleep will wake to seek more. A voice by its nature yearns to be said, you cannot hold back what is meant to be spread. Like those who couldn't hear the music complained and said those dancing were simply insane. A voice by its nature is a vibratory bass, embraced and allowed to manifest grace. And if it is muted from the melody of sound, it vibrates a whisper of wisdom profound. A voice by its nature is the question of thought. It can leave you blissful or leave you distraught. It doesn't really matter what I say or you hear. My voice, this voice is my voice and it brings me right here. Thank you. <laughs> so I also, I think um, we're living in a world where we're, we're bound by a lot of kind of, um, a lot of things. One of them is time. So we all, sh we all should try and use our time in the best possible way. And so I wrote this poem um, called Wait and Praise. For your perspective, please allow me to say and take one small minute of your day. Just imagine a time when you waited. Were you bored out your mind or elated? For your perspective, please allow me to think of how much time that is spent in a blink. There's 86, 400 in a day and even one second can you afford to delay. For your perspective, please allow me to catch and this poetic egg allow me to hatch. How can you fish if your hook isn't baited? Just think of how you felt as you waited. Now imagine every time that you thought this line hair is never getting short. Do you remember that time when you knew the meaning of forever was the cue? Imagine all those times you had to wait and because of that you sometimes were late. Imagine if you waited, you praised, and the name of your Lord was raised. A moment of praise is better still than the world and everything of its fill. So every time that you wait, you should praise, and the name of your Lord you should raise. So when you look back from the position you are in, you will thank, not by tongue but from within, that a poem once taught to wait and praise has gifted me with heaven in this age. Thank you. I got one more for you guys. So the theme of this is is light. So I was thinking since like a month or so ago when Charlie told me to to kind of do this about writing something about light and and I think there's two types of uh, poems which a poet can write. One is when you actually put your mind to something and you make a rhyme and you make make it happen. And then there's something which is inspired. And I was waiting for that moment of inspiration for this next poem and it came to me before I went to sleep last night and I was I was praying to God to like, come on, man, like help me out here, man. Like it's got like it's tomorrow night, man. Like so, <laughs> so, so I just thought I was like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna write a prayer, and it's gonna be about light, and this is what it is, and and I feel honored to kind of just be the first person to kind of do this and and to and to say this and share this with you. So this is what it is. It's untitled. Oh God. Give us light in our hearts and light in our tongues. Give us light in every breath of our lungs. And light in our hearing and light in our sight. Show us your light in the darkness of night. A light in our feeling and light in our breath. Turn us into light until our death. And light before us and light behind us. A light so bright it could almost blind us. Give us, I pray, light on our left and light on our right. Allow light to flow out of this poem that I write. And light above us and light below us. Cover us in light so you lovingly know us. Allow your light to warm our pain and strife. Ignite the fire of your love that gave us our life. Increase light within us in every way and give us light as we stand here and say, Our Lord, illuminate us. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Thank 
So myself and a few other friends uh, kicked off House of Poetry Society. <laughs> That's the plug, man. <laughs> so, House of Poetry Society is a non-profit organization and, and we, we basically promote the advancement of education by holding poetry jams, free poetry workshops. Uh, we go into schools to educate kids about poetry and um, we are actually having our launch of our magazine, which is in, in December. So, if anyone over here wants to be a published poet to get some of your work out, you know, published, in our magazine, feel free to come up to myself or Tish or Z, who is somewhere around here, um, and we can get your stuff published. And um, do check us out on Facebook, Hounslow Poetry Society, and thank you very much for your time this evening.